time and time again. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in this wilderness? There's no food, there's no water, and we loathe this worthless food. The Lord God had given them water to drink from a rock and from a pool of bitter waters. Every morning there was manna. Every evening there is quail. No, it wasn't good enough for them. Then the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people so that many of the people of Israel died. The people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he will take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. The Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten, when he sees it, shall live. About to die from their sin, they would look at that lifted up bronze serpent and live. Jesus uses this incident as a picture of what would happen to him when he was talking to Nicodemus about baptism. Jesus said, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so the Son of Man will be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. The Old Testament is given a deeper understanding in Jesus. You too whine and grumble and complain about all sorts of things which God has given to you, as we confess in the first article. That is your sinful nature in action, demanding your death from your poisonous tongue that speaks out against God and others. To save you from your death, Jesus came to be lifted up on the pole of the cross. When in faith you see Jesus lifted up for your salvation, you live. It's that simple. Just as the children of Israel didn't do anything except through the eyes of faith, believe that God, his word, and were then saved, so you too can't do anything for your salvation except through the eyes of faith, believe Jesus at his word. Father, forgive them. And you are saved. This is why we have crucifixes. It's not looking at the icon of Jesus that saves, but we put Jesus lifted up on the cross before our eyes that we see and believe what he has said. Whoever believes in me will be saved. An empty pole could not save the children of Israel, just as an empty cross doesn't save you. But Jesus lifted up saves, saves you for eternity.